Now let's move on to Megan and her etiquette coach. I didn't know she had an etiquette coach, but she did. And they taught her the ropes before she met the Queen. Well, they're not too happy because he points out that she squandered a great opportunity to be part of the royal family, cost Harry his uh, opportunity to really serve in the family, but also he taught her all those things that she claimed to be ignorant of. The, the, what the coach here claims contradicts Meghan's claims that she didn't know royal protocol and it was all just a uh, mystery to her and just so bizarre. Yeah, oh, how do you curtsy? Like ridiculously insulting mm, display. Like this. On yeah, exactly. So Edmund Fry is at, in Pasadena, California. He's right out here and lives down the street from us and lived down the street from Megan. And, and I went and interviewed him not too long ago. And he actually has like, we'll show you the space where Megan sat. And he taught her to have tea with the queen. He said he's appalled by Megan's behavior and that they have done such a disservice to the, the British royal family and says that now anybody that goes through his cute little tea spot in Pasadena they don't have kind words for Meghan and Harry. They're, you know, enthusiastic about King Charles and Queen Camilla, but they there's they really kind of loathe the Montecito couple these days. So that's so interesting because that truly isn't far from Harry and Meghan. So the fact that people come to see him are disappointed by their actions too says a lot about the tone in the United States of America. Yes, if they lose the adulation in California, then they're in trouble because that's their natural home ground. <laughs> that's where right. celebrities are fated and, uh, you know, very left-leaning, matches their politics. But if they start getting on the nose there, then they really are in trouble. They may have to come to Australia.